Hello everyone, my name is Adam Wienskowski from Fraunhofer HHI. Today we are at the 3IT Innovation Center for Immersive Imaging Technologies, part of Fraunhofer HHI. We have some very special guests from uh, Spin Digital to have a look at VVC capabilities for 8K HDR coding. Maybe you can introduce yourselves? Thanks, Adam. Uh, my name is Mauricio Alvarez, CEO of Spin Digital, which is a software company based here in Berlin. And I'm here with uh, my colleague, Sergio. Hello, my name is Sergio Sanz, a senior codec engineer at uh, Spin Digital. And with us is Ben, a group head at HHI. Ben, tell us about yourself and HHI. Thanks, Sergio. My name is Benjamin Bross. I'm heading the video coding systems group at the video coding and applications department at Fraunhofer HHI. At the video coding and applications department, we are developing video coding algorithms and uh, video coding standards. And in our group, we are working on implementation of these video coding standards. So tell us a bit more about Spin Digital, Mauricio. Yes, uh, Spin Digital is a software company that specializes in high performance implementations of video codecs. So we have implemented, for example, an 8K real-time encoder for HEVC, uh, HVC standard, an 8K up to 16K uh, real-time decoder, media player, and more recently we, we started to work on BBC as well. But now that we are talking about BBC, so Ben, can you tell us more about what is BBC when it has been standardized? Sure, Mauricio. So VVC uh, versatile video coding is the most recent video coding standard from the ITUT and ISO IEC international standardization bodies. It was finalized last year in July, so July 2020. And uh, it achieves a 50% bitrate reduction compared to its predecessor, the high efficiency video coding standard or uh, HEVC. But uh, that's not the only uh, main feature of uh, VVC. It also supports uh, a wide range of application, which is represented by its name versatile, versatile video coding. So versatility is a big part of uh, VVC. And uh, this spans from 360 degree uh, video, immersive video, uh, HDR, high resolution, ultra low delay streaming, screen content coding, gaming, and so on. But uh, yeah, you did a lot on, in that area of immersive video, super high resolution. So how does VVC come into play here? Well, when uh, working with 8K video, we always have the issue of uh, very high bit rates. And currently with state-of-the-art video encoders for HEVC, we can reduce the bit rate of 8K to around 50 megabit per second. But in some cases, to be able to transmit 8K HDR in high quality, we still need to reduce the bit rate down. And this is where we think a BVC can play a role uh, for the future of 8K. Okay, before we start uh, with the demo, uh, let us acknowledge Sony, which provided us the uh, TV, the 8K TV used in this demo here. So, um, Adam, what we are looking at here? So we have some 8K PQ graded sequences uh, acquired around Berlin uh, by Fraunhofer, HHI and Interdigital. Uh, Sergio, can you tell us more about the encodings? Thank you, Adam. Uh, we can see in this diagram uh, the 8K HDR videos were encoded with two encoders. One of them is the HEVC X265 encoder, and the other one is the BBC VBN encoder. Both implementations were configured to produce a similar quality and operate at a comparable encoding speed. In the case of x 5 uh, we selected the very slow preset and a bit rate of 50 megabit per second. And for BBNC, we used the medium preset 
and reduced the bit rate uh, by half, that is 25 megabit per second. Adam, maybe you want to tell us more about uh, BBNC. Sure, Sergio. So VVENC is an optimized VVC encoder implementation that we uh, developed here at HHI. It was initially based on the VVC reference software, VTM, but we added a lot of optimization uh, and real-world real world features like multi-threading and subjective optimization. Uh, actually, the subjective optimization is based on, a, on the XPSNR model that was developed by our colleague at Fraunhofer HHI, Christian Helmrich. And talking about subjective quality, what do you think about the quality? We analyzed the quality on that uh, 8K TV. And uh, in general, both encoders with the selected configurations produce uh, a similar quality. It means that BVN does not degrade the quality when the bit rate is reduced by half. Even we also noticed that uh, VBN produces a better quality in some cases, for example, in video sequences with sky or uh, water textures. Ben, um, BBC quality was also tested officially, right? Yes, that's a good point. And uh, while sitting here directly in front of the TV, I can uh, I can really see also the the subjective quality differences between uh, X two six five and and uh, VVENC. Yeah, but you mentioned the verification tests for VVC, and these are uh, official tests that uh, have proven the 50% bitrate reduction for the same subjective quality over uh, the VVC predecessor, HEVC. But uh, the other interesting thing that came out of these tests is that uh, VVENC that was used as another encoder for VVC in these tests uh, showed a superior subjective quality uh, than the reference VVC encoder. And this is due to the perceptual optimization that uh, we can see here. So, usually in these demos, uh, when you do playback and decoding, it's you, especially with the new technology uh, and the new video coding standard, you decode the bit streams, uh, you get a, a raw YOV video, and then you play that raw YOV video from file. How is it done here, or how is it different here? Well, what we are doing here is uh, real-time decoding and playback. So basically, we take the 8K compressed file in BBC format. Uh, we decode it with uh, the software real-time decoder, which is also integrated into media player. So we also render the 8K content in 8K, 60 frames per second, 10-bit HDR, and then send it to the TV uh, for display. And when we analyze the complexity of BBC, we see that when we compare it to HEVC, it requires two to three times uh, more computation, depending on the bit rate and content, which we can easily provide to, with today's um, CPUs. For example, for 8K 60 Hz playback, we need a workstation with uh, a CPU that has 24 cores, but we also tested 8K at 120 frames per second, and for this we need a workstation with uh, 64 CPU cores, which are available today. And for more uh, lower resolutions, like 4K UHD, uh, a laptop or a standard PC is uh, perfectly capable. Uh, but Adam, so beyond, uh, let's say, commercial implementation like the Spin Digital, uh, what you can tell us about open source uh, BBC decoders? Uh, thanks, Mauricio. Very good question. So uh, actually here at HHI, we didn't only develop the VVENC, the encoder, we also developed a decoder solution for VVDEC, which is uh, freely available online. Um, it's not quite as performant as the Spin Digital decoder, but you know, VVDEC is still uh, enough to you know, start playing around to view some HD or UHD content. And we're actually planning uh, you know, to enable people to play around with this without a professional setup like this. Uh, can you give us some more information, Ben? Uh, 
Sure, Adam. So when we talk about VVNC and VVDEC, it's just uh, conversion from the raw video to a bitstream or from a bitstream to raw video. In order to use it in real-world applications, you would... Uh, need to implement it in a multimedia framework that does some uh, packaging, let's say, in an MP4 file format for Dash uh, streaming and so on. And we are currently working on this and uh, making some first tests. Uh, and we will uh, release more information on status update on that uh, within during this year. So stay tuned for that. Uh, just one comment on uh, if you have it in such a framework, Adam mentioned you can do 4K playback. Uh, nicely also with FF Play or GPEG Player then but uh, when it comes to 8K uh, then there's also uh, some more uh, resources required for rendering and this is what we can see here with the Spin Player. So at the end you will find more information on the slide at the end of the presentation with links to the uh, Spin Digital site with more details on Spin Player, on the Fraunhofer HHI side, from, uh, VVNC and VVDEC, as optimized and uh, open available VVC implementations. So, Sergio, Mauricio, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you.